Okay, so in our video series on dermatology crash course, in this video, we'll be talking about impetigo. We have a case here, a three-year-old boy from rural area presents to your clinic with the chief complaint of thick golden colored honey crusted lesions around the mouth and lips. This is a picture showing that honey crusted lesion. Patient feels no pain and the kid does not feel ill at all. Vitals are normal. This patient was diagnosed to be a case of impetigo. What is impetigo? How does it present? And how do you treat it? Today, we are going to talk about that. First of all, we have to understand the anatomy of skin. Skin contains three layers. The top one is called as epidermis. The middle one is the dermis. And the lower one that contains the vessel is the hypodermis. Impetigo is basically a superficial infection of the skin that involves the superficial layer epidermis. It is caused by Staphylococcus aureus and beta hemolytic strep. Risk factors include poor hygiene and overcrowding. Symptoms of impetigo starts around the nose and mouth. It is an itchy rash. It usually starts as fluid filled vesicles that become filled with pus and they become pus filled blisters. These pus filled blisters rupture and that purulent discharge dries up as golden yellow crusts. These golden yellow crusts were the ones with which our patient in the case presented. Regional lymph nodes are also palpable due to an infection present in the body. Impetigo has two types, non bullous and bullous. In non bullous, we have honey crusted lesions. In bullous impetigo, there are fluid filled vesicles. Non bullous impetigo is caused by Streptococcus and Staphylococcus aureus, but mainly it's caused by Streptococcus. Bullous impetigo, on the other hand, is caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Presentation of non bullous impetigo is as painful non protic honey crusted lesions as evident in the picture below. Bullous impetigo presents as rapidly enlarging flaccid bullae with yellow fluid in them as you see in the picture. Treatment of impetigo includes removal of these crusts by a wet soaked gauze piece because these crusts will inhibit the penetration of antibacterial cream. So you need to remove these crusts before applying any antibacterial ointment. Limited skin disease can be treated with 2% muporosin ointment applied on the affected area three times per day for at least 10 days or until all the lesions are clear. For extensive skin disease, you will have to use oral antibiotics. Oral antibiotics like decloxacillin for 7 to 10 days, cephalexin for at least 7 to 10 days to fight off the infection. If patient is penicillin allergic, use azithromycin for the treatment. Prognosis, most cases resolve spontaneously with treatment and almost always they resolve without scarring. That's the good thing about impetigo. In summary, we talked about impetigo as a superficial infection of epidermis caused by staph and strap. It presents as fluid filled vesicle that rupture and purulent discharge dry up as crusts. Non bullous type caused by strep presenting as honey crusted lesion. Bullous type caused by staph presenting as flaccid bullet with yellow fluid. Treatment include removal of crust. For limited disease, muporosin ointment is used. For extensive disease, oral antibiotics are used. So this was all about impetigo. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos in dermatology crash course. Thank you very much.